Hello, my name is Dr Stuart Mackay and I'm the programme leader for this MSc programme in Diagnostic Radiography Pre-Registration. It's a fantastic programme. It's designed by clinical experts along with educational experts from the university here. It's a two-year fast-track programme, which means that it takes you from your current knowledge with your degree in science through to being a diagnostic radiographer that can register with the regulator, the Health Professions Council, and work in the NHS as an NHS professional. The facilities we have at the University of Liverpool are fantastic. We have a CT scanner in the basement of one of the buildings. We also have an X-ray suite and a room for a specialist viewing of medical images. Altogether, this provides a brilliant system for you to learn diagnostic radiography. And this programme is set up so that there will be about 20 to 25 in the cohort. Important to any diagnostic radiography programme are the clinical placements. These will make up around 40 or to 50% of the programme. We're lucky in the Northwest in that we have excellent placement sites right the way across the Northwest, and we have clinical tutors. This is a qualified radiographer who resides in the particular hospital and looks after your clinical education while you're there at the Trust. The full range of diagnostic radiography experience that you need, from CT scanners to MR scanners, to x-ray machines, to interventional radiology, you name it, and it will be on the placement list. This programme is a fantastic programme. We have very highly qualified staff teaching on it with PhDs and MSCs. All of them are diagnostic radiographers with several years of experience. So the teaching on it is superb. One of the resources that we have on this programme is some simulation software which simulates you taking an x-ray. It means that you can practice taking an x-ray without irradiating anybody. It's magnificent software. It has built-in physics principles and teaches you both the underpinning physics as well as the technique that you will need when you're going to be a diagnostic radiographer.